Hey everybody, Nate Tice here from the Athletic Football Show, back again with another edition of Wind the Clock. This week, going to be looking at the Rams offense. Once again, haven't looked at them since week one, looked at a third down play then to 2-2 Atwell. This time, going to be looking at the run game mostly. There's some passes in here, but looking at the motion and how the Rams use Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup and use their skill sets to unlock their entire offense, the run game and the pass game. Make everything look similar against this Browns defense and the Cardinals defense. There's going to be a couple clips there. Sorry, Browns fans. I know I looked again your defense last week with my Broncos and Sean Payton and Russell Wilson video but again gonna have to use you guys as an example because what the Rams are doing is really really cool got a lot of plays to look at so let's jump right into it I'm gonna start and look at the main pitch the fastball of this arsenal that the Rams offense has they try to make everything look the same they use similar formations they use similar motions on all these plays so that is gonna be the key but what their main pitch is is a run concept called duo 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 that's dynamic duo. What duo is, is power without the puller. What power is, is an at you run. It is vertical. It can hit anywhere from the running back based on the defensive look and how it gets blocked up. But the blockers have a lot of answers based on defensive fronts. And the Rams run duo more than anybody in the NFL, according to Sports Info Solutions and their data. But what's been really cool about what the Rams do this year is how they use motion and how they use different formations to get to their duo concepts. Today, you're going to be looking at how they use Pukunakua mostly as the main look, almost as a de facto fullback for this duo look and then the other variations, the other pitches with this Rams offense. I think the main thing you want to look at with all these plays, there's going to be a few I'm getting through, but the same formation and the similar motions and the variation of the motions that they use with Nakua. And then I'll show you with Cup later in this video. The formation you're going to see in a lot of these clips is Puka Nakua as the Z. The Z is the receiver that goes with the tight end, which is the Y. And then you have Cooper Cup as the F, the slot, and Tutu Atwell as the X. So if you ever see when we talk about on our show or you just hear in any football parlance, Z, Y, X, those are what they typically are with F usually being the adjuster role, which could be a slot receiver. It could be your second tight end. It could be your fullback. And that adjuster stuff is what the Rams play with. They will make 12 personnel, which is two tight ends or 21 personnel, which is a fullback and a running back. They will make those looks out of 11 personnel with three wide receivers. They had been doing this with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods when he was still a Ram. Naku has been the next in line to now, and he really has unlocked this role in this offense in 2023 for the Rams. The main kind of look on these plays that we're, I'm gonna be breaking down is Nakua going on a motion and it'll look like a back and forth motion before he fits up and blocks. He's essentially a de facto fullback on these looks. He's gonna be the lead blocking on this duo concept. So as I play through the clip, you see the motion, you see the movement happening from the defense, from the Cardinals here. And the motion happens and Nakua ends up not having anyone to block for because his guy that's going to end up being the guy in the box kind of stumbles and falls with that back and forth motion. And it goes for a nice game. I'll show the end zone view. And again, duo is going to have a hat on a hat. That's why it has good answers. You're not really leaving anyone unblocked within the first four or five yards of the play. So usually you can get some nice efficient runs. Explosive runs can be kind of limited with the duo concept, but efficiency is the name of the game with it and stuff you can do off of it. So you're going to get a hat on a hat. So we go, We'll start with the block here. We will get a double team here. We will get a double team here. We'll get block here. Nukua, his motion would be for the down safety on the search motion and search block. That's how it's typically run. So he would motion across and fit up on Buda Baker here. But because of how the Cardinals shift out and how they have the corner travel with the motion, his assignment technically changes. It's the same X on the chalkboard, but a different guy gets there. And once the motion goes, you'll see it. The running backs on, on duo, they're taught to press the whole vertical, and they're taught that this play can really hit anywhere depending on how the linebackers press and try to fit the play. So they play cat and mouse with the linebackers, make them commit downwards, take themselves out of the play, and then bounce and hit the play wherever it makes sense. It can go straight up the middle, it can go on the outside, it, it can hit anywhere. Every duo run play is like a snowflake. It's like snowflakes or Subway sandwich artists. <laughs> Every single one looks different. So. There's the motion. You see Baker getting out. You see the other the other DB coming into the box. And off we go. So you see those double teams. Duo is all about creating as many double teams as possible. Not two, not one. Not three, not four, not five, not six. It's as many double teams as possible. Sometimes there's only one, sometimes there's none, depending on the front that's given from the defense. 
So you see the single block, you see the double team, you see the double team, you see the tight end kicking out, you see Nakua going, all right, who do I block? Uh, <laughs> trying to trying to figure this one out, but he knows. All right, there he is. And he figures it out. And you can see Kyron Williams does a fantastic job. These linebackers press the hole. He gets vertical and then he bounces out, ends up hitting the C gap, A, B, C, the C gap between the tackle and the tight end. Again, nice game. And now I'll show you the secondary pitch that the Rams show off of this look. That last one, the dual run, is their fastball. Down the pipe, two-seamer, four-seamer, whichever one you want to say. Now I'll say this next run, which is a zone run, which everybody runs, especially the Rams and Sean McVay, but they've kind of changed the math a little bit of what they emphasize. It's supposed to be in zone with using duo as their main secondary pitch. They've gone duo with zone as their main secondary pitch. Just a little different emphasis. Emphasize. <laughs> <laughs> but a little bit different here and it kind of creates a way to attack a defense from the same look and still get into the run game but you'll see the same formation the same motion from nakua and it just hitting on the opposite side on a zone run again so you're showing a fastball with the duo and then this is the cutter this is the splitter you know this is that kind of like oh it looks the same oh, okay but it's going 92 and cutting a little bit instead of 96 and right down the middle so again nakua the z tight end right there there's cooper cup and a tight split as the f there is two two out well as the x split outside of him there's one running back it's 11 personnel once again there is nakua's motion you'll see the back and forth motion all looks very similar right a lot of similarities i would be like oh wow here comes that duo run once again instead they run zone and if you notice it's going away from the tight end so on this zone look, like you can see Stafford, he opens up away from the tight end and we'll see better from the end zone view. You'll see these zone steps that the Rams offense line are using. So we have a zone run, goes for another solid, efficient game with Kyron Williams fall, falling forward. From the end zone view, I'll show you the little bit of differences between this zone run and then the duo run that we saw on the play before. Now the duo run, he blocked out these two with double team. Go to the second level. Nakua's motion would end up huge block here. They would double team to this linebacker. Haven signed the right tackle. We'll head to cut off here. And then Cooper Cup would probably have to feign there and get the backside. So that would be a duo run. Now, I want you to notice that. And then I'll show, I'll draw the zone run. Still blocking there. Left tackle cuts off. Left guard is going to scream up to the second level. He's uncovered. We're going to have a cutoff here by the center. Right guard and right tackle are going to push outside. And the cup will help out, but kind of give a little bit of cloth to help out Havenstein, maybe help set the edge if Kyron Williams wants to try and bounce it. And then he'll block outside to get to the second level. So you can see the little subtle differences in the point of attack as opposed to being vertical where the yellow drawings are. You see more of that horizontal, that kind of 45 degree angle of attack that zones are. So zone, you're stretching horizontal to get vertical while duo you're attacking vertical to get then get horizontal so we'll let this play out you can see kyron williams running on it there's puka nakua's motion everything looks the same and then here comes the zone run and it goes nice little jump cut for kyron williams and it goes for a nice game now those are just the main run plays that they run off of this look and that motion and this variation of formation now they also have play action plays that look exactly like the run, like that zone run I just showed with the same motion from Nakua with the same formation. And the Rams like to use that in high leverage situations, maybe in the red zone or a third down. Like here's a great one against the Cardinals. Notice Nakua, tight split, Z, tight split from cup, F. We got an X receiver up there. We got one running back. We got the Y tight end. And if you're going to guess that Nakua is about to go on a motion here, you are correct. And there's Nakua's motion back and forth everything looks the same right if i were the cardinals they just hit us a couple times with these runs yeah all right that looks the same again you're gonna see nakua releasing through that c gap instead of blocking this db he's gonna instead release on a corner route and the tight end davis allen he's gonna initially engage just like he did all of the other runs and he is gonna run into the flat and we're gonna see the zone fake right there you see the offensive line selling that zone that horizontal stretch that you're trying to sell the zone watch the cardinals db fly up here thinking he has to fit the run look at him he's like yeah i got it i got it oh shoot they do a nice job of uh, taking away the corner this guy makes a little bit too much of a <laughs> well it gets a little caught up inside 
He tries to rally to Davis, but Davis makes a nice catch and they get the first down. This one's gonna be started the drive and we're gonna have Naku on the motion, but this time he's gonna help seal the edge with the tight end. He's gonna be a pass protector because that's what Nakua does. He catches the ball, he runs the ball, he blocks in the run game, now he blocks in the pass game. And again, there's the motion. And again, there's the sell of inside zone from Stafford, from the running back, from the offensive line, from the motion, everything is looking the same. Instead, the Rams run a double corner play action concept with a high corner, Cup runs a sail route, and then you're gonna have the fake in the back coming up and bursting to the flat. So as that play goes, Stafford does a nice job of letting the guy sink, kind of sees this a little, kind of get a little cloudy there and checks it down on first down and gets a nice gain out play action. But nose too. You see Nakua helping the block, helping that tight end. Again, tying all that motion and all that stuff together. Now, I noticed that motion and that formation when I was watching week 12 and the Rams and the Cardinals. And I'm sure Jim Schwartz, a defense coordinator for the Browns and the Browns coaching staff and players, sure watched that film. They just played last week. So we're going to use that film. So the Rams, and this is where it's really cool. They show that same formation. They show that same motion with Puka Nakua. So there it is. Puka Nakua at the Z. Cooper Club tight. At the F, Demarcus Robinson, not too, too out well this time. At the X, down there, 11 personnel. There's the running back. There's the tight end. Everything's looking the same, right? Are you betting that Puka Nakua goes on motion? Yep, there he goes. He goes, oh, and it's the back and forth motion, just like last week, right? So what would I guess? I would guess duo. I would guess zone, maybe a play action look. But instead, and this is what's so cool, and notice where Cooper Cup split helps here. Instead, the Rams run a pin-pull play, and they run it opposite of the tight end side. They run it to Cooper Cup, who's blocking Miles Garrett here, and loses honorably, but it works. Again, you see all this movement, like you see this DB, like, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, I got to keep up with Nakua here on the motion. And instead, it hits the other way. There's Alaric Jackson pulling. There's Demarcus Robinson blocking down, blocking down. Got the puller out here. He's going to kick out there. And the goal of this is to get on the edge. If I said that the duo play was a fastball and the zone play was a cutter, this is like a curveball. This is like a circle change that you try to really get with two strikes, really trying to bait when that batter is just waiting on that pitch. So pitches outside. There's Jackson in space. Gets a little mucky here. Kyron, does a nice, Kyron Williams does a nice job, though, of getting a nice gain. Ends up getting hit late, and they get another 15 yards there. Shows real quick from the end zone view. It's just, again, to show the show the angles on the play. So there's the Nakua motion. You see kind of like just the window dressing of this play. There's Cup blocking down. Again, this is where Cooper Cup has just always been tremendously valuable. He's an extremely good blocker, and Nakua is a good blocker, too. So it's, it's ridiculous that they have two of these guys that can catch, run, and block. True triple threats at the receiver position. So there is Cup blocking down. There's Jackson pulling. There's Steve Avila trying to block to the second level. Center has a tough block. Coleman has a tough, pretty tough block. But again, this is more about the misdirection. The Brown sit linebackers actually do a nice job of playing it right away. This is all about more about misdirection. Hopefully you pop one. And the Browns linebackers actually do a nice job of kind of committing right away and not taking any of the bait. But you can see it gets out on the edge. Again, this is the changeup, that curveball that they're trying to throw. They got to that pin pull play three times at the very least off the same look off of everything and got an efficient gain all three times. Now, there's other pitches, though, that the Rams show. I've already shown play action, duo, zone, pin pull. Now, how about we take Cooper Cup from the same looks and put him on motion? So the Rams get to it out of the same look. They got to a zone play, a duo play, a pin pull play, several different play action looks. One of them, which ended up a touchdown. It was a little different look. I was saying to Kent right here. So you can kind of see that there's the, another little motion, but Nakua starts away from the tight end. Same type of motion, play action, ends up in a touchdown to Higby. Also, there was a tackle pull play uh, that the Bills really like to use, but the Rams use their motion and their personnel to get to their variation of it as well. I'll send these plays to producer Kent. So while I extend Lynn talk, you get to see the types of motions, the types of fakes. Now, what are other varieties, other pitches that they can throw this Rams team? Well, what's remember I just mentioned Cooper Cup's a good blocker too. Let's use him. This time, first play of the second half. Here's Nakua. Really tight split this time, but still the Z. There is the tight end. Also, you notice that Nakua is on the ball. Tight end is off the ball. Very close, though. 
then you have a stack alignment. Okay, first play of the second half. What's the adjustment here? The Rams put Cup in motion. And then they have a outside zone lead play with Cup essentially being a fullback. If you watch the 49ers, Juszczyk gets used in the same role <laughs> as Cooper Cup does right here. But there is a toss outside zone, and it goes for a huge gain to start the second half. And really, the end zone view, you can see how that speed motion creates such advantageous angles on this run. So they work up here, some level. These two kind of climb to nothing. These two kind of climb to nothing. And you got Havenstein that's able to just hinge right here. And then you got Cup going across and blocking right there. So there you go. And you just see, look at that void. Look at that void for Kyron Williams to hit. Just great angles. Remember, horizontal and then vertical on zone. And it goes for a nice explosive gain for the Rams. So this is the last example here. But again, this is that last type of controller that the Rams use out of the same formation with the same type of motion or look of the motion to get to another part of their offense to create another big play for this offense. Again, there you're going to see Naku has the Z, Cup has the F. There's the X receiver. There's the tight end. There's a running back. We're in 11 personnel. And we're going to have Nakua go on motion again. But instead of a back and forth motion, you know, as we're all expecting, right? I mean, these DBs are probably expecting it. Linebackers, they're expecting that little back and forth motion. Maybe a dual block right here, a dual run right there, a zone run. Maybe you're getting to pin pole one more time. So I got to be alert to the puller. But remember when I kept saying that Nakua is a good receiver, a good blocker, and a good runner? Well, here we go. Puka Nakua on a jet sweep. And do you think this Browns defensive end right here was expecting this? I bet you he wasn't because watch the ball get handed off to Nakua. He is not on the back and forth motion. He is truly just on a jet motion. And watch this DN get slipped right by. Oh, no. That's a, that's an oh, no face right there. That's a oh, no. That's that's That should have been me. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. And we got great block right here from Cup. Again, he's a good blocker. And then you get the runoff right there. And Nakua gets a nice big play for the Rams. I'll show this one from the end zone view because it's pretty fun. But again, when you're expecting that kind of back and forth look every single time, and then just win with speed and surprise, Sun Tzu would be very proud right here. Snap the ball, there's a jet sweep, and just outrace everybody and create angles and another big play. I know there was a lot of plays to get to for the Rams, and I know there was just different stuff thrown at you, but that's what the Rams do. They make it all look the same, and they get to five, six, seven different things. I had 14 clips saved for this video. I didn't get to all of them. I may have gone too far in a few places. But I wanted to show why this Rams offense currently ranks ninth in DVOA. They're fourth in offensive success rate. They are fourth in EPA per play. And they're behind the only just the big boys, the Dolphins, the Bills, the 49ers. They're around those big heavyweight offenses and the Rams are right up there with them. The versatility, the receiving, the rushing, and the blocking ability of Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup unlocks this whole offense along with a strong playing Rams offensive line and the best trick shot throwing quarterback right now and Matthew Stafford, who's just throwing it all over the yard and has weekly highlights that are just fantastic. But this Rams offense is legit very good. And they're doing cool things that are really standard offensive scheme, but put nice little twists and using their personnel in very smart ways. Sean McVay and this Rams coaching staff should be commended on all the twists and tweaks that they're doing with this offense and it's leading to success and maybe a little playoff push, a little surprise playoff push from the Rams in 2023. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this week's Wind the Clock. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like this video if you did or subscribe to the Athletic Football Show YouTube channel. You can do both. It's not an either or. You can do both. You can like and subscribe. Please make sure to check out the previous Wind the Clock videos. I'll be here every single week doing this, and I'll see you guys next time.